Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Civil Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the radius of gyration. In this lecture, I will show you how we find the radius of gyration of any object. Consider this is in a rectangular shape section of the object. Rectangular having width B and having depth at the height equal to H. So we can find the, uh, the uh, radius of gyration of this object by this formula. Is a moment of inertia divided by the area of the section. The moment of inertia of the section dividing by the area of the section. So we get the radius of gyration. And this is very important topic for all civil engineering students. So the moment of inertia of this object uh, can be found out by bh cube dividing by 12. And the area can be found out by the b into h because this is a rectangular object so we can find by multiplying the two dimensions so uh, let's take an example that this is known to us is 5 cm the depth the width and the height is 10 cm taking an example so putting these values uh, we will get the required uh, quantities the moment of inertia comes out to be 5 into 10 dividing by 12 and I put just values into this equation while the area comes out to be 5 into 10 the depth into width. So this comes out to be 416.66 uh, into centimeter raised to the power 4 and the 50 centimeter square. Remember that these should be in the same unit centimeter or centimeter or meter square or meter square or maybe an inch square but the unit should be same. So now put this moment of inertia and the area uh, values into this, into this equation. So we will get the radius of gyration of this rectangular object. So radius of gyration comes out to be I divided by A. And when I put this value 416.66, the moment of inertia and the area dividing by area is 50. And taking the under root, so we will get the answer uh, which comes out to be 2.88. So I get the uh, radius of gyration of, for this object, for this rectangular object having a dimension of 5 cm is the width, uh, height is 10 cm, uh, so the radius of gyration comes out to be 2.88 of this object. You can find the uh, radius of gyration of any object uh, if you know how to find the moment of inertia of the object and the area of the object. Just putting this value and taking the under root, you can find out the radius of gyration of any object. So this was all about the to-do topic. And don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.